right, welcome back everybody to another Shorter Ship to Earth episode. It's been a long time, a long time. I haven't played this game in quite a few months. Uh, last episode would have gone up and it would have been about a couple weeks after I recorded it, so it's been a while. Um, but I had a request to play this game and to do it in challenging mode. The past runs, I was just doing beginner. I can go to my scoreboard, you can see probably, I think it's all beginner if it shows it. Yeah, right here, beginner, 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 beginner. So I have not done challenging mode. So in this one, ship HP is done. You lose max HP, so that's still a thing. Space still pauses the game, but damage to modules can also reduce their maximum possible hit points. Instead of getting the starting bonus of extra explosives, evasion, accuracy, and deflection. We're gonna go right into it. We'll see what happens. Uh, I do have DLCs this time around. I don't think I did for the past episodes. I think I got those afterwards. But so I got these DLCs that are available on the Steam store. They give two new playable ships, all of a bunch of new enemies, and some new content. I don't think you can start in Sector 4. But anyways, so we're gonna see. We're gonna start Sector 3. I don't need to go through 1, 2, those are not needed. They're easy. They're meant to just kind of introduce you to the game. Three is where things start to get it intense. Four is where I always die, as seen here, as there's ten, and I have yet to get to five. All right, but sector three. This one is the one with mineful ash, mine, mineral asteroid fields and Earth Alliance research stations. Hit that one. Now let's see if we can find these new ships that are here. Oh. There's one of the new ships. Yeah, look at that thing. But I want slots. 20 slots. I want a ship that has a lot of slots. And here's the other one, the Battle Tiger. It's got 24, 5, and 5. This one is 23, 4, and 4. So it's the same as the Tiger, but a little more beefed up. Get one less crew, same survivability, same hull points, a little less deflection, less evasion, but it gives it more slots. All right, then we have the Riggy, Sky Beetle, Tiger Fish. He has the regular one, is it not? This is a small one of this guy. Uh, and then these are normal ships. I played th this ship in those episodes before I got destroyed. Let's see, we have all these new ships here I can play as. I'm going to go with the Battle Tiger, though. Yeah, go with Battle Tiger. All right, so it starts off with a little bit of less crew. That's fine. We have 73 fate points to spend. We got those from the past run, plus the fact that I'm starting in Sector 3 instead of Sector 1. So we have a little extra... Um, let's see here. We can start with nukes. Oh yeah, intruder nuke bot. That thing sounds interesting. I want to try it out, but we'll see if I get to and get five of those nukes. Nukes are really, really handy. But what I want is robots. I want the gun operator robot. I want that robot so that I can operate the point defense turrets and him for repairs and them for fire. Basically, I want all the robots I can possibly get. Because robots don't take food. They don't require much, honestly. They'll roam around and they can operate things just as well as any personnel could. So having a full crew of robots is really handy. Um, warp drive, do I got mini grow mini growery might be good to grab. I still have so much, so I can really just go ham. Uh, let's go up here. So we can get more crew. Scientist. Ooh, having a scientist in the micro grow would be good. I can recruit the rat mercenaries. 
but of any exotics, so eh, maybe not. Uh, get, get Chanky Astronomer. Hmm. Actually, an evasion would be good. A gardener Philosopher. Okay, oh, these cost so much. But that extra actually could be really handy. Okay, I should get the, the repair bay for the drones. What does he do? A small toy drone knows vulgar words in all human languages. <laughs> and acts as a bullet sponge. Um, gosh, okay, I want to get this guy. Some of these ship specific ones I want to grab. I can have an extra repair drone which I'm going to grab, yes. Fire tortoise. Just these ship specific ones are fancy. So many pets. Genetically modified for superior speed and strength. And attacks enemies in close combat. Oh. Uh, I could just intelligent, could shoot energy rays. Breathe fire. So these things can basically defend my ship. Yes. I need, I need this. I should have an exotic thing here. Perfect. <laughs> my ship is going to be full of just pets and robots. But hopefully that makes it so that I can get rid of intruders fairly easily. That is the hope. Uh, what do I have over here? See, I'm low on a ton of stuff. Okay, we'll have more credits. We want to grab synthetics and the metal. Uh, extra exotic and 10 synthetics for 50 credits. Worth it. I still have 11. I have 11. Okay, uh. Grab scientist boy. Uh, what are you? The astronomer. Cook. Growing food and extinguishing fires. I get well armed human. Human. Or human soldier. Human soldier is to 72 out of 73. I can grab the DIY stuff, or I can just grab the small bot as a bullet sponge. Or cryo sleep. Three repair drone. This repair drone is four. It's also a gardening. I kind of want that. I want to keep that. Scientist and a gardening bot. You. Can you only hold one or can you hold two? If you can hold two, I want you. I'll grab you anyways. Okay. Looks good. <laughs> this is going to be the flying robotic zoo. Call it the battle zoo. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> the offensive strategy. All right, so what are we looking at here? Models, perks, yes. DLC. Turns out the sector is not completely unexplored as the star system contains an Earth research station. Let's check it out. We might help find help getting home. Got it. Uh, sure. Let's see what we got extra storage wise. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. What? Okay, this thing is sick. What is this? It comes with a dual ray gun? Okay, question. Point defense. We have one here, one here. We have a lot of cryo recorders. I did not need to worry about that at all. And we have more point defense here, but there's none along this side. 
Okay, that means if it's enemies up here, we gotta deal with them first. Shield battery. This thing starts out 58 health, 16 shields. We have an excess energy of 8. Okay, this is not being used. We will instead replace. That way, we can go ahead, place person here. Please say it's the robot. But whoever's going there, is it the turtle? Ah, oh, the turtle's going there. <laughs> I hope he's not like the cat. It's from but the cat does not like to be operating things for too long. <laughs> uh, fire extinguisher drone. There's Mr. Kitty. Bad bitty. Bad bitty. Boom. Okay. Uh, star system. We came in here. Uh, planets, planets, and asteroid belt. We'll go asteroid belt first. High value. How much gas do I have? Okay. I gotta make sure to watch that. Asteroid feels good mineral profile. Low risk. Heck yeah. Warp animal eggs. Ooh, no risks, no risks. I do not want to take any unnecessary risks at this point in the game. <laughs> it just barely started. It'd be bad if I run into a warp animal that just annihilates my ship. Also, storage-wise, what do you? Fuel explosives, fuel, and then multi-container for metal explosives and synthetics. You down here. Ganex exotics and a metal. This thing has some cool stuff on it. Granted, it also has a ton of missiles. Okay. All right. Sector. No, star system. You want to go to this planet? Yeah, there's a gas giant there, which we'll go to last, probably. Warp gate to the Vox system. Warp gate to Vox, 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 Vox. Ooh. Well, might not, might not be a bad idea to go there. It's kind of centralized. This is more centralized, but this is semi-centralized. We might take it, might not. Let's keep going. No, I did not want to. Nope. Uh -uh. Minimal atmosphere and atmosphere. We'll go to this guy first because he's right there. Strong electrical storms in the atmosphere prevent us from observing the surface. Minimal chance of external damage if we enter the atmosphere. Go for it. And what the heck are those? <laughs> Sentience contacted. We've discovered a c and contacted a local civilization. The or Orbians seem highly intelligent despite using a little technology. Using little technology. After having a long chat with our AI, they propose a trade. They want a battery with star fuel so they could overcharge themselves for pleasure. They promised an ancient piece of intact technology in return. 50 fuel, 50 fuel. I'm interested. What doth thou give me? Uh, to pay in the fuel and to extra is to degrade a defense station. It turns out the technology is precursor. Another missile. It's got a point of damage, but another another missile. Heck yeah. Another missile for my stuff. Alright. Next planet. I'm just gonna bombard the first person I see with all these missiles. Not even gonna lie, we have so many. <laughs> a calm, sandy planet. We are picking up a strange signal from its surface. It seems very chaotic, almost random. Ooh, giant crystal. Precursor tech, warp life. Crude investigate, crude preparation from a distance. I have two exotics, 
Let's do preparation. You experience strange psychedelic visions, feel a mental link formed with a crystal. It is a warp organism, kind of a warp tree. It communicates having contemplated this reality for thousands of years. Shares some of its wisdom, we are able to record all of it as valuable Xenor data despite the existential and ultra vague nature of the information received. Nice! Alright, the gas giant. Let's go. Yes, that's why I want it. I want fuel. Give me the fuel. I can hold a lot, so I want to see if I can't fill that up. Oh, do we go deeper? Do we... I don't want to do that. That's expensive. Do I use the ship? Do I use the ship? Is it worth the fuel? Yes. Yes. Give me the loot. Ah, uh, cost us, but... 23. Should be fine. Um... We'll go to the Vox system using this warp gate. Should we go in? Fly into gate. And there is an enemy. Fantastic. The first battle of the episode. An unknown ship is rapidly approaching tactical range. Prepare to fire all weapons. It broadcasts a high-level safety verification signal, meaning the ship and its crew should be safe to us without provocation. Prepare the weapons anyways. Well, hello, mortality duelists. Hello, fellow claims to be consciousness. We are mortality duelists, seeking the thrill of mortal combat. And yes, we have a mysterious mm, Moleculati Laati ship, though we are obviously not Moleculati, just a normal multi species group. Would you be interested in participating in a death duel? As per tradition, only one ship survives. No pressure, of course. I want to. I really want to. Ooh, it's the, one of the new ships from the DLC. Would you look at that thing? Wow. They got a rocket launcher there, point defense there, shields there, energy there, storage there, and gun there. The acid? Oh, rail gun. <laughs> Where I get acid from. Okay, uh, I have, <laughs> I have a lot. Uh, okay, um, let's max out people on those guns. Get someone there. Give someone on that, because why the heck not? I can get rid of these guys to fill up that last slot there. Alright. So, point defense turret. This ship's going to be hard to hit just because it has so much negative space. This gun has the best chance of hitting because it's got the smallest radius um okay if we can have you hit there um i want to i want to get rid of energy because this is a rail gun this is a rocket launcher oh good only have the one point of fence so if you just focus on there and my rail gun go after this okay every gun has a target just make sure we'll go you here you here you here you here and then you up here just make sure that's all good okay go Uh, let's hope we can win this. I mean, the rocket is the one that I should probably be worried about. And what the heck? 
you actually should fire mini nukes. That's awesome. <laughs> it actually fires mini nukes. That's fantastic. Can you get rid of that? I want this guy gone. And let's go ahead and plow that right there. I want to see what this does. Small box. It's a small box. What? Oh my gosh, he's killing the people. Oh my gosh. Dude. <laughs> okay, that was, that was sick. Um, before we go, though, I'm going to... First off, store. Uh, settings. The menu is so loud, but the thin game and set effects aren't as loud. Uh, right, resume. Sweet. We'll go ahead and reload this. That nuke's actually really handy. I should save those for the boss in Sector 4. Assuming I can get rid of his point defense turrets. Now, we have a new shield generator. Less cost per energy. It's five seconds, six seconds. This is ten and three. This one's eight and two. I prefer that one. Uh, what drive to tangent? Um, right, people who can sleep go back to sleep. Why? All my animals go to sleep. Ah, oh, I like him. Look how cute he is. He even has a little tail. Oh. Right. This looks good. Looks good. Looks good. At the end here is fine. Back to the star system. There's not much here, is there? That's a space station, barren planet, and probably an asteroid belt. Uh, we still work our way right to left. What do you got here? Literally just star fuel. Cool. How much are your exotics? I can get. I want to see if I can upgrade some more slots here. It's just to increase my ship's HP overall. Okay, I can do that. Give me some more exotics. I have money to do so. A star fuel we are fine with. So you are a waste of time. Bye bye. Barren planet time. We have a faint signal, boys. Let's go for it. We're headed straight in. A warp beacon, signals emitted by an unknown piece of self-sustaining technology. Self-sustainable technology. Pictographic warnings on the service warn about not messing with the device. External research would require extensive time to record. Take time for external or just salvage research. 30 organics, we have 250. We got this, we got this, we can do it. We can spend the organics, we can go ahead and do it. Navigation or communication beacon. Hmm. Nice. I got some more monies. 